So I've been hearing a noise lately going down the road and something just a just a faint little grrr and I thought are these tires bringing that much more road noise? Is it the South Carolina roads? And over the coming days we left South Carolina the roads got better the sound got worse so I'm looking today and come a little closer see if you can hear this. Get in real close. Okay, so we hear a little bit of disc disc brake. Hmm. We hear a little bit of disc brake drag there. Now let's listen to this one. And great. Scraping. Now the neighbors think I'm nuts. There's no way I can hear that on the highway, but I hear it. I found it, so we're going to fix that. Place an order with Million Mile Sprinter, and the parts were here the next day. Maybe I'm just lucky because I live close to their Miami parts distributor. But quick service, right price, and all the parts I need here. So we're going to open that up and replace that wheel bearing today. All right, so tools we're going to need for this wheel bearing project parts of course a dugga dugga to get the wheel off a breaker bar for those really tight lug nuts a torque wrench to put them back on properly a tiny screwdriver to get the seal 17 or a 19 millimeter socket if you're a 3500 driver but 17 for me on this 2500 big breaker bar to break those loose torque wrench to, to tighten them back up properly we're gonna need a big C-clamp or a big pliers. Having both really helps. Uh, we're gonna need a five millimeter Allen key, a hammer and some punches, and a 19 millimeter or three quarter inch is the same size. Uh, stiff wrench, not a speed wrench, but a good stiff wrench so we don't break it. And 17 and 18, I'm not sure on the brakes, so I brought those along just in case, but I don't think we need those. Let's start by taking the wheel off. Now I've already broken these studs loose just a little bit with the, uh, the breaker bar there so I can jack it up and spin the tire. A bucket or your kid's toys, something you can set this brake topper on once it comes off. Go ahead and put the 19 millimeter on there and break that loose. And the other one is down here. All right, we'll set that off to the side. Then we want to take this little dust cap off of here. Boy, that came off way too easy. Hmm. That little seal is good and stuck on there, isn't it? Hmm. Boy, I hope I didn't screw up. Oops. Hope I didn't screw up this face too much doing that. Probably could have found a better way to do that. This is just the seal, and this is the bearing. Mm. And we've still got more to come out, so the fun has only just begun. We'll get some of this noise-making stuff off the bench. 
Now, we still have this bearing race in here and the little one in there that need to come out. So I'm gonna start with this face down. Get a nice punch to sit on the edge in there. And I'm gonna tap that out. Across from it. All right, felt like it hit bottom there, so. Yeah, I pushed it all the way out so it, it's hitting the table. Right, so that's one bearing race out. bottom there so. no we did not hit bottom we're barely even scooching there it scooched All right, now it helps to have a table you can span this across I don't have exactly that but I can do this bearing race. I suspect this is the one that was growling. Oh yeah, I can, can you hear it? I can feel it. I don't know what kind of grease is better than others. When I opened this up and was rem remembered it was red, I got worried. Uh, but it says it's ideal for axle bearings, so here we go. This one came out last, so we're going to put it in first. Put it in there this side up, cone side up. This would be wrong. It goes right past a little bit of damage I did there. A little bit of damage there. It slides past that without any problem, but it is a tight fit. So we're going to have to get something to press that in. So this removed piece of the old bearing works pretty good for pushing that down, but don't push it past flush or you'll have a really hard time getting it back out. Now we need to push that down a little bit more, but we want to be very careful not to screw up the bearing race surface there. So I'm gonna take my large pipe and set it on the edge. Just give that little taps as I go around. I don't think that's in all the way still. I don't want to hit any harder because I do not want to screw up that bearing race. We're going to set that face to face. Are we there? I don't think we're there yet. We're getting there though. Uh, it sits on top of the other one. What we're going to do is we're going to assemble it, roll it around a little bit, and then probably tighten everything up open it up and retighten. So now of course we don't want to put this bearing together dry. Hands are clean. Pack as much grease into the bearing as we can there. Important here that we're not just coating everything, we're pushing it into the cracks. Really getting that grease in there. Now that I want to go in very, very flat. So I'm gonna get a board or this. Yep, there we go. Looks down good and plenty. And back into the silly putty.
fresh gloves clean up some excess grease here before we end up with it on the driver's seat and you know, everywhere else that we don't want it and just go ahead and smudge it on the tools there so we can find it later unexpectedly be sure to get that whole disc brake there good and greased don't want too much friction on the brakes you know And I don't Should know about you, but tools while you're thinking of it. That's a good idea. Gonna get the spindle all cleaned up. Looking for trouble. I don't see any. All right, so. Yeah, here comes the part. Oh, there it goes, oh. okay. I was just hung up on something. these up and put the new screw in here don't know why they give us a new screw to go in here but since they do we're going to use it this collar does have a, a mating side and a user side we want to put the mating side against that square washer naturally and eventually that square washer will find a home where it doesn't spin We found that home now. That washer won't spin any, anymore. Oh. Yeah. It rocks, but it doesn't spin. And I know that because this bolt or this nut tightened up against the washer. I backed it off, wiggled it, and then I could tighten it up a whole bunch more. So now yeah, we'll bring that in snug like so. Spin the wheel a couple of times. Tighten that up while I'm turning this. So when I get it too tight, that won't turn anymore. But right now, I'm just pulling the bearing race in the rest of the way that I wasn't able to do with my hammer. Boy, I really would have expected that to bottom out before now. too tight and spinning the wheel doesn't doesn't back it off it doesn't loosen it up rather so I'm going to back it off a little bit there we go back it off just a little bit more to make sure yeah there we go All right, now I've, I feel like I pulled that bearing in all the way. And I get two Allen keys out here. 
So I tighten this up as much as possible with the Allen key and then this way. That must be the wrong size. This one. Yep. And there we go. Clean all the dirt off the edge of this dust cap. It's pretty caked up. Clean the inside of the dust cap, most important. Dust cap is on. Grease is cleaned out. Now I'm going to get rid of everything greasy before I do anything else. Close the grease, get rid of the trash, take off these gloves and put on a clean pair. There's no more growl in there. So. Looks like my brake wear sensor is not in location. That's not where that's supposed to be. And might have to squeeze these open just a little bit to get that back on the... And now we'll, we'll see how it goes. All right, good deal. Calipers nice and tight. Make sure everything still spins nice and quiet. Put this in here where it's supposed to be. Oh, it's gonna be broken. There we go. Goes in there like so. Yeah, you want to get around the other side and look at where that went. Then we're ready to put the wheel on. So to be smart about this, I'm going to take it for a drive, maybe 20 miles at the most, and then take this wheel back off, make sure that bolt is still good and tight on there, that nut that we adjusted tight and then backed up and snugged up again, I'm going to make sure that's as tight as it needs to be. That's it. Okay, so, I think I need new gloves. Let me just help. You got it from there. Phew. That Ugh. is really nice.